Hi guys, so today we are on the hunt for Mapperley Tunnel in Nottingham and we've just overcome the first hurdle which is coming down this steep banking and I can't point out how steep it is on the uh, camera but if I put it to the floor and then see but it's very steep so I'm just going to go ahead and see if we can get up to the tunnel which is just in front of us um, so yeah Let's have a go, let's have a go. We are at Mapley Tunnel. It's got some interesting features. It's got some interesting graffiti. I'll show you the outside of it. We're gonna head inside in a couple of seconds. Just wanted to show you the outside and we are heading through that section there to go and have a look. Mapperley Tunnel was opened in 1870 um, but it partly collapsed in 1925 and it's due to subsidence in the, cana in the canal wall, <laughs> in the tunnel wall. Um, so it was closed in 1960 by the British Rail. So we're just going to go through now and go show you the, what's left of the tunnel. Part of um, you probably see some evidence of the subsidence, and um, there's a little surprise in there, like which is known as the crap stack, which I've seen on a couple of YouTube channels, like Trekking and Turpaths and Mine Zero. Um, so that's why we've come down today to check it out ourselves. Um, so if you've watched a couple of those videos, you probably know what I'm talking about, but. Um, if you haven't seen it, then we'll show you what that is. Um, so let's go. Let's go have a look. So at first glance, here is like a couple of the evidence of subsidence. The canal wall. I keep saying canal wall. The railway wall. The tunnel wall keeps collapsing. It's in a poor state. There's some more evidence here of the tunnel wall collapsing. And here's the support beam. Originally there was three. We're going to take a walk through now and see what else there is. So this is the first recess that we found. Richard, you want to go stand in it? Richard will go stand in it to show us how tall it is. But this is about six foot tall, so it's enough for a man to stand in as the train came passing by. And this is how far we are from the entrance of the tunnel. So, you'll yeah, we'll keep walking. This floor's quite sturdy to stand on at the moment. No water for us to navigate through, which is good because we've only got as Doc Martens and trainers on. It's brick lined all the way through. I just heard something right in front of us. We could hear running water and just come across this little bit of a drain or something in the middle of the sort of where the tracks would be and it's got running water running through it and it run, running off like the edge here which just calm my nerves down knowing that no one's in the tunnel with us with no torch because I get anxious so onwards we go it's very muddy now as you can see but I'm hoping that the mud might stop now we've got past the uh, thing but it doesn't look like the mud's stopping <laughs> So far I've seen no more recesses, we've seen about three. It's very hard ground to walk on. Speaking of a recess, there's one here. It echoes really nicely in here. It's very hard to see the ground. Richard, can you just shine the ground in front of me? <laughs> right, let's navigate this. There we go. 
It's not as cold as what I thought it would be. Oh, Richard, let's not put the strobe lights on. <laughs> That's a bit better. So we can see some light up ahead, which I'm thinking is one of the shafts. So that'll be the first shaft. I couldn't tell you where we're under currently because we've got no phone signal or GPS signal. But I'll take a closer look at the shaft and hope that we don't get dripped on in the meantime. So here is the shaft and that's the... We'll go underneath it and take a picture, take a little view up. quite high up. I'm not sure what we're under though. That's quite nice. I'll show you how far we've come in the tunnel. So that's just the light in front of us, that's the tunnel portal. It looks further away on camera, but we've not really walked that far and it feels like we've been walking for about an hour. The ground was quite hard to walk on. Another thing that I've noticed from standing underneath the portal is that you can feel the warm air from like with the, the earth above. So <laughs> it feels quite nice to get some like warm air before trekking back into the darkness and the... Um, cold but it's not as cold as what I thought it would be in here so it's quite nice. Just found a sleeper and an old like joist thing to keep it uh, fastened in the ground so I found a couple of sleepers here which is quite interesting. See if we find any more. We found oh this one as well. They're the first couple of sleepers that we've seen. There's more over there there are sleepers that we've seen while we've been in here, so we'll keep an eye out for some more as we venture onwards. So we've just found what looks like an old buffer off the train. It looks like, I think it was fallen off and it had, like they dragged it to the side. I think that's what they said on YouTube. So it's just nice to find it and it's just left in the old uh, recess here. Which was quite nice to find. Let's go up and have a look at it a bit closer. So there we go, that's quite a nice find in here. There she is, an all of her glory. This is the crap stack. So after years of people dumping through the second port, the second, um, what's it called Richard? Vent shaft, I forgot. Um, yeah, so after people dumping through the second vent shaft, it's just piled up and piled up. I'm getting dripped on, oh my god. It is being locally named the crap stack. This is what we've come to see. Wow. Let's take a closer look. You can go a little bit further ahead, but we're not doing that because it seems a bit dangerous walking around when you don't know how stable it is and there's gaps above stuff and it looks like it could be fall down any minute. So that was Mapley Tunnel. Um, this is just the outside of it. I really like these uh, little guardians of the entrance. That's what they look like. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's sort of my first tunnel explore. I used to do like a lot of railway explores, but then I got really ill, so I haven't really done one in a while. So this is sort of me getting back out of it. And this is sort of the furthest one I've done away from home because I used to do Wakefield area quite a lot. And then we tried to do one up at Kettle Nest near Whitby, but then the weather turned on us and it went really raining and it was really bad, so we couldn't get into that one. But that could be our next tunnel explore where it's on the plan. So I really hope you enjoyed uh, this one, Mapley Tunnel in Nottingham. Um, so if you did, please look, like, leave a like down below. Um, a couple of comments would be nice as well, but you don't have to. So um, I'll see you all guys next time.